How long is he supposed to be in the tunnel for? Mm, could be a while. So Top of Matt usually doesn't change his mind about stuff like this. He doesn't take kindly to engines who refuse to follow orders. Yeah. Well, if you ask me, I think he's stupid for that. Thomas. No. Now one of his in-service engines is suddenly unusable and their workload is squashed into everyone else's. He's not wrong. Henry literally shot himself in that tunnel and then he dumped his work onto all of us. Mm. I still think we could have pushed him out. I feel like I almost had him James, in the... no, you, you certainly did not. We failed miserably. We could have done it if you pushed the limits, Thomas. Oh, if I pushed my limits. Oh, okay. Yes, Thomas, it's called teamwork. Oh, As right, if I don't oh, carry oh, this oh, railway on my all back right, already. All right, hush you two. You're going to wake Gordon up. Mm. Oh, sorry, Gordon. I don't care. It's time for him to wake up anyway. No, Thomas, I wouldn't. Wake up, lazy bones. There you go, what? come on, rise what? and shine. What's going on? Oh. Wakey, wakey, oh. up and out. Oh, no. Oh, Thomas. Oh, you've done it now. What? It's time to wake up. The drivers will be here any minute. Oh, <laughs> little Thomas. You do not wake up an important express engine like that. Gordon, I do not care. I will wake you up any way I please. I don't think you quite understand, little Thomas. Oh my God, where's my driver? I have a reputation to keep up with, and I can't oh, be- whatever. I can't oh. be tired when attending to my important passengers. Oh, shut up, Gordon. <coughs> I beg your pardon? Thomas, it's okay, just let Now, it... Edward, I'm sick of this. Gordon, your ego is so out of whack that you have this weird mindset that makes you think that you're the only engine that can pull your so-called important express. Like it's some job only designed for you. When in reality, anyone could do it. Oh, is that right? You think any of these middle-class engines could do my job, little Thomas? Uh, no, I could do it. Yes, I do, actually. Well, let me just state the facts, then. Edward can't do it. He's much too old and weak to pull that heavy train. You are a little tank engine who's never pulled a train before. Henry could probably do it, but he's pulling nothing but cobwebs now. J James, I'm just going to butt in real quick. I think I would manage it just fine. James, you especially, I, I don't think I trust with the Express. What do you mean? I, I, I don't know. You, I don't think you're quite ready yet. I, I don't think you get it. Well, fair enough. No, see, this is what I'm talking about. What do you mean he doesn't get it? What's there to get? It's just a train of couches. Well, How is that any more difficult than the trains we pull? I, I, Maybe Sir Topper Matt should let me pull the Express, <laughs> and I'll show you just how easy it actually is, Gordon. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, that's enough, you two. Sir Topper Matt will be here any minute. He doesn't need any more problems here. <laughs> Thomas. What do you want, Edward? I just came by to see how you're doing. Oh, I'm great. If anyone's not doing okay, it's Gordon. I think he might have lost a few brain cells going at those ridiculous speeds. Where's he at, anyway? Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. I found him. There he is, sleeping. Yeah, man, it's not like we just lost one of our main workers here and our work has doubled now, but go to sleep, I guess. Thomas. What, Edward? Thomas, Gordon's just very proud of his job. No, he's in denial, Edward. He acts like he's so much better than all of us, when in reality we work just as hard as he does. Well, Thomas... In a way, Gordon does have the hardest job out of all of us. A non-stop long run with heavy coaches between several stations is enough to wear any engine out. Gordon was built to do just that, so he can manage long runs like that just fine. But you are right, Thomas. We all work just as hard. We all pull our own weight. And that's really all that matters, is it? Being really useful. Hmm, I guess... The thing is that Gordon always gets everyone's respect for what he does by putting in no effort at all. Meanwhile, I feel like I don't get any appreciation for what I do, Edward. And I'd argue that my job is the most important job here. You're right. Your job is important, Thomas. Without you, there'd be no express. You're the glue that holds this railway together. And yes, while Gordon does have many adoring fans and people that respect him, your work here is just as important and is very much appreciated, Thomas. Hmm. You know, Edward, you're the only engine here that listens to me. You treat me like an equal, and you actually get your own coaches out of your own volition. I respect that. I'm sorry if I was ever rude to you. That's all right, Thomas. You should be the one pulling the express, not that fat, lazy fraud. <laughs> I appreciate it, Thomas. But me and Sir Topper Matt both know that I'm not as young and strong as I used to be. 
I was built for a whole different generation, and these modern times have not been so gentle with me. Don't worry, Edward. Just wait and see. I know someday you'll show all these buffoons that you're the true pride of the line. Hearing you say that is already enough for me, Thomas. But someone does have to wake Gordon up. His train is due in a few minutes. Hmm. <laughs> Watch this. Wake what? up, lazy whoa, bones! Whoa, Your train's whoa, ready! Whoa. Why don't you go and work hard like me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. Thomas! 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 <laughs> what? It's time thing? for the express, Thomas. Gordon's at the station waiting. <sighs> what? I just got the express for Yeah, Thomas, you did. Yesterday. That was yesterday, buddy. Oh, really? Yes, really. Come on, we're very late. Mm, okay, just just give me like give me like five more minutes. I'm going back. No, Thomas, the express is due now. So top of match there waiting. Everyone is waiting. Oh my Come god, on. oh my god, fine. Oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. Let's go. Finally. Where have you been? Hurry up. <sighs> you hurry up. You've been here for like 15 minutes. You don't have to rely on me to get your coaches all the time. You can get them your damn self. Thomas. Oh, great. Put Gordon's coaches into place. He's already late. Oh, yes, sir. Here they are, sir. Will that be all, sir? Watch your attitude with me, Thomas. I don't know what's going on with you lately, but I need you to get your head straight here. It's very important that the Express leave on time. I've already dealt with complaints from dozens regarding delays, and I don't need any more. Now I need you to work with me here, Thomas. I can't oh, have... Oh, hey. Thomas! Stop. Hey! Stop! Gordon! He's still coupled to the train! Stop! Ah! I'm still coupled, you big buffoon! Hey! <laughs> Come on, little Thomas. Keep up. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, Gordon, stop. Please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, hurry, oh my god. Oh, oh. Edward, help me. Thomas. <laughs> Goodbye, little Edward. Oh my god, I've been here for four days. No one is actually ever going to see me again. Stop! 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 Oh my god, stop! Please! Ah! Ah! Huh. Seems like I'm not missing much. Stop! Stop! Oh, oh, stop, please! Oh, stop, please! Oh, my God, stop! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you came here just in time, Gordon. I don't know how you do it. Oh, well, I have my ways. Oh, oh, oh. oh my! Oh. Thomas, were you coupled to my express? Yay! Yes! Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I must have left so quickly since you made me leave late. But at least now you know what hard work means, don't you?